just be. The JET program is now entering its 27th year. Last year, UM sent four students to Japan through the JET program. Current UM student David Shad attended the meeting to find out if the program would be right for him. I, I'm realizing, uh, you know, it's actually not going to be uh, quite so impossible for me to apply to the program, provided that I prepare for it. Um, because I'm not a Japanese major, I haven't really studied Japanese, but, but if I do that on my own, then that could really open up some doors. When I was in Kumamoto. Patrick Brown also attended the meeting to see how the program has changed since he was a part of it in 1994 and to share his experience with the interested students. It's a great chance to go for a year or two years or three years, experience a different culture, um, gain a lot of skills. You know, you can, you'll get a lot of the skills if you decide to put in the time and energy there. UM professor and former JET alumni Robert Tuck says it's a great first full-time job to start your post-college career. Pretty well compensated. I mean, the, the salary after tax is, is it's pretty decent. I knew several people when I was on JET who, had, who were sending uh, substantial sums of money home each month to pay off their student loans. That's definitely another draw is the, the money factor, just getting to the point where I can break even and not have student loans anymore. Right. Uh, you to Japan. Uh. Shad says his next step is to better learn Japanese, apply to the program, and hope for some good news. For UM News, sayonara, I'm Don Fisher.